Hello. Howdy. Wow, that chat is hard to read. But hi. How are you guys doing? Um, today is another normal day. <laughs> Just like last time. <laughs> so, that colorful stage, huh? <laughs> um, so I do have to preface the stream with a warning. Um, my internet, my ISP, my internet service provider is going through it. You know, we're all going through it every now and then, but my ISP is going through it. Um, I, long story short, I live in a tourist town, population quadrupled overnight, ISP is losing its marbles. So I might dip, my internet might crash. Uh, <laughs> and if that's the case, I am, um, oh, hold on. If my internet crashes, I just hit record on OBS, so I have like a VOD that will be there. But I mean, I don't know why that would be necessary, because if my internet crashes, I can't play Copycat anyways. By the way, Copycat, my song Copycat got added to Colorful Stage. <laughs> um, so my first, the first song that was added a week ago was Goodbye, and then copycat just got added today and i haven't played it yet so let's just get going let's try this let's see right well it's kind of loud is it loud no it's probably just fine but hello welcome to my project sekai colorful stage whatever account um i like this game a normal amount <laughs> which is why i I'm exceptionally like losing my marbles over having my songs in the in in this game because I I I was playing it already. I was playing it anyways. <laughs> so you might notice we have a present in the present box. Gee, I wonder what that is. <sighs> Copycat. Copycat. Let's grab it. <laughs> I was thinking of changing the YouTube thumbnail to be um, the the image that I used that um, I sent them for the single art because I figured while the thumbnail on YouTube is Luca, it's colorful stage. It's Hatsune Miku colorful stage. So having the Gumi copying Miku image would fit the most, right? So like that's on purpose, okay? <laughs> if you were wondering why why that's the why that's the art in <laughs> in the game. <laughs> So let's give it a shot. Oh, you can see I was just doing my daily. I was doing my daily Hitorimbo Envy. Don't look at me. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm I play this game too much. Where is it? Where is it? There's goodbye. We did another stream with that one. <laughs> um. But let's. We're gonna go through and play every single difficulty of Copycat. I want to see. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see what um, the beat map is like on all difficulties. <laughs> there's also there's also all these key changes. Wait, hold on. Before we, I like how the preview is all the key changes. Before we play, I have this one copycat meme that I made that I stole off of Tumblr and I made it myself, so it's kind of vain. But if there's ever a situation to bring it up now now is the time right so so like oh i can't like click and drag it oh no oh well that's sad hold on give me a second <laughs> in the meantime have you guys heard copycat before <laughs> are you new here do you know who i am if not hello my name is Circus P. I'm a vocal producer. I've been writing vocal music for uh, like over 10 years. Um, if you don't know Copycat, which is probably my biggest song on YouTube, some other songs that you might know me for are um, Insanity. I, I'm the one who wrote um, Insanity. Da, 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 da. I wrote that one. Um, I also wrote Circus Monster. You know, 
Um, what else did I write? I think those might be the only songs I've ever written before. Uh, and if you haven't heard Insanity or Copycat, you don't know me. And that's fine. But those are the two songs you probably would have heard. I'm trying to get this image. It's not as funny now that I can't just click and drag it. I think it's because I opened OBS as admin. Alright. This is the new. Me listening to Copycat. Me listening to Copycat after the third key change. <laughs> I think about this whenever I listen to my own song. I think about this meme. So I just had to show you. Anyways, let's act like like Miss Kardashian after the third key change. <laughs> All right, let's see what um let's see what the easy beat map is like. Um, yeah, let's go. So you guys can hear everything all right, right? Is the game too quiet? Is the game too loud? Am I too loud? Oh, wait, I need to turn on the MV. I have to... I said this with the goodbye stream. I have to really focus on easy beat maps. I have to laser eyes. I play rhythm games purely on... What is it? What is it? Like... Reaction? Reflexes? <laughs> so, I have to set the speed to- I might- note speed's at 9.6. I have to set the speed really fast. So, because of that, when there's so few notes, I tend to miss. So, I wrote Copycat way back in 2016, right? Um, and it was about something I had noticed about myself. I had just kind of, you know, had a bunch of, like, failed relationships, I guess. And I realized, I tried to be introspective about it, and I was like, what is, what is the issue here? And I kind of got vented those emotions out in a song. I was like, oh, it's me. <laughs> um, realizing that I didn't quite have my own personality and I kind of just mirrored everyone that I was around. So... It was, uh, it was, a. Uh, it's kind of a, both Goodbye and Copycat are, ver are very emotional songs, I guess. Um, different perspectives of things. Wow, A rank. Um, and it was surprising to see just how big Copycat got, because a little bit. Wow, was that all perfect? I never do that, even on easy. Well, except for Hibana. And I, on Roki, I did it on normal. But normally, I don't do it. What is that outfit? <laughs> I... I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> um... But... Original song MV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Let's try it on normal. But I wanted to write a song about, from my perspective, I wrote it in a day, by the way. Copycat, this entire song was written in a day. And then I contacted uh, Slepu, who was at Slepuchino on Twitter, who did the illustration. Um, and um, they were like, I showed them the song. I was like, hey, I wrote this in literally a day. Uh, can you make art for it? And they were like, 
you are insane. <laughs> but but yeah, hell yeah. Um, so then Slap um, kind of kind of rushed also to get all the art assets done so that I can get a video out like really fast, like within like a week, I think. The song was started and completed within a week. The song itself started and completed in a day, and then the visuals and the video. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> you can see I play side end. <laughs> after last um after my last colorful stage stream on here, um I saw that colorful stage Ian retweeted my tweet about the live stream. And I was like, I mentioned so many other IPs, so many other games. I shouldn't do that this time. But my uh, my notifications have forsaken me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, Slep um, drew the illustrations really fast, and they're gorgeous. I I don't think the song would have been popular. I don't think people would have clicked on the thumbnail or really enjoyed the song without Slep's art. So I'm really grateful. For, um, for the visuals that they put together. It's just so cool. And um, I remember the initial visual concept I had was just like Gumi in a cat hoodie. Um, that's what I like sketched out. And I think the end visual that came to be for Copycat, so much better. The the mirror imitating all the Kryptonoids. Um, She's imitating, uh, Gumi is imitating Niku, Rin, Luka, and Meiko in the song. People mistook Meiko for Fukase a lot because this was in 2016. He had just been released. It was red. The hair was messy and people were like, messy red hair? That's Fukase. I don't know who Meiko is. Um, so I remember being disgruntled about that, but we kind of now just joke about it. It's anyone you want it to be. It could be Fukase. It could be Meiko. It could be... I'm trying to think of another red character. Louis? Oh, rest in peace, Ring and Louis. But, but you know, it could be. <laughs> it could be anyone. Just played your song, very fun. Let's make it Teto. It could be Teto. It could be whoever you want it to be. <laughs> Miki. Miki doesn't have short hair, but you're right, Miki. But yeah. So, the song. I think I owe the success of this song as much to like Gumi as I do to Slep. So I really appreciate it and I'm glad that Slep let his art be used. <laughs> Cause it's still so good. So go follow Slep at Slepachino on Twitter. I could link it in chat, hold on. Twitter.com slash Slepachino. Almost typed it. Go follow Slep. Um, but the other thing about this song, <laughs> I have a, I have a lot of things to talk about copycat. This song's more recent. It's still more, it's more in my memory. It's kind of funny how, um, goodbye is only two years earlier than copycat, but copycat feels like it was just yesterday. Whereas goodbye feels like it was 10 years ago, you know? Um, at the time in 2016, um, I had been working on a with a another producer with Crusher in a collaborative duo called Sir Crush. Um, that fell through due to personal reasons. But at that time, I was known, I was kind of known for tuning Gumi and writing Gumi English songs, and people had kind of like expected me to use Gumi. Um, I think, or at least it was attributed to my name, really. And then I realized, uh, once Sir Crush kind of fell through, and I um, and our collab songs were removed from my channel and all that kind of stuff, I realized, wait a minute, I don't really have a solo Gumi song. <laughs> I have a My Kotoba, but that's in Japanese. I was like, hold on, I don't have a Gumi English song. <laughs> I tuned Gumi English a lot, but I don't have one that's really of my own, you know? So, um, the decision to use Gumi wasn't just because she was, like, the hip vocal to use at the time. It was that 
I felt like it was thematic to the song of a character that was really attributed to my name. I remember people calling me like the Gumi Tuning Master or whatever, which is high praise. I don't believe it, but I thank you to anyone who called me that. Yet, I didn't have a Gumi song. It felt very like it fit the vibe of imposter syndrome as well, you know, with like Copycat, you know, like... People seeing me as someone who uses Gumi all the time. Like, oh, that, that circus, he uses Gumi all the time, and I didn't have a solo Gumi song. So I felt like using Gumi for Copycat really added to that. I feel like it... Kind of got it was it kind of made it more personal, you know. <laughs> I I hope that makes sense. <laughs> now we use her more. I use Gumi more, and there was a Gumi English song that was sent to be released. It was supposed to be a response song to my Sonica song I Senma, um, but I never released it. So at the time, I really only had Amai Kotoba. So, it was really fun. It was... I feel like all of the puzzle pieces came into place with Copycat. It was... Um, it was just... Something that happened so naturally. And something that... I completely didn't expect to blow up. But looking back at it... It makes sense. And... I feel like with every difficulty I play, I have more things to rant about. I have a lot more to, to talk about Copycat than goodbye, goodness gracious. Uh, <laughs> well, let's try this on Expert. Um, the other thing about Copycat was that... Yeah, I... Looking back at it, I'm really happy that it's my most popular YouTube upload. Because before Copycat... Um, I was known for Circus Monster and Insanity, and um, both of those songs were me trying to write for the first time. I was 14 years old, I was 15 years old, I didn't know how to write music, I was finding my voice, you know? And there's something odd about your most popular works being you not quite having a stable foundation yet. When people people look at a new artist, they tend to look at their most popular works. And if people looked at, in like 2015, or 2014 even, if they only looked at Insanity and Circus Monster and judged me solely on those, they're judging all of my work based on like 14 and 15 year old me. It wasn't very reflective of the work I ended up writing afterwards. Yet, Copycat, while I've definitely changed a bit since writing Copycat, I feel like if you listen to Copycat, you have a pretty good idea of what I write. Even six... Oh god, has it been six years? Oh god. Even, even six years later, I feel like it's pretty reflective of my work, and I'm really, really happy that it's my most well-known song. I was... I think that's why I look back at it fondly, and I think about it a lot. Because when you have a song that you didn't try, that you were just messing around with and there was a lot of mistakes with and people say that it's your magnum opus, you, you resent that a little bit. But even though I think I could have done a lot of stuff better with Copycat, I'm really happy that people, like, look at it and kind of judge my works based on it, if that makes sense, you know? Because it's more, it's way more reflective. You're 24, I am 26. I uh, wrote Copycat when I was 20? I think I was 20. Um, I wrote Insanity in 2011 and I was 15. I wrote Circus Monster in 2010 and I was 14. My birthday is in July. My birthday is smack dab in the middle of the year. So like I'm, both ages, you know, I'm like, like this year, I'm 26. Am I 26? I'm 26. <laughs> and I'm gonna be 27 soon, you know, like that kind of stuff. So, but I got into Vocaloid when I was 13. <laughs> 2008. I've been here for a while. <laughs> Ah, 
All right. All right. We talked. I talked a lot over the first four difficulties, but I think I'm going to focus on Master. I want to see what this beat map is like. Expert had some fun sliders, and I'm interested. I'm interested to see what Master's like. It says it's the same difficulty as Goodbye, but Goodbye was fairly easy. So, let's see. Let's see what Master's like. When's my birthday? My birthday is July 15th. I have a whole album named after it. 715. That's the album Copycat's on. That's fun. In order to fit all the key changes in, there, there's quite the build-up, but I'm excited. No. Well, <laughs> ah. well, I'm not gonna end the stream until I full combo on master. But these are tricky. These slides are tricky. Well, that was fun. That was, that was pretty fun. I like all the slide notes, but I'm also really bad at slide notes. <laughs> I'm really good at like the disappearance notes, you know, the, like tap 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 I'm good at that. <laughs> um, so we're gonna try again. Um, but I like it. It's fun. It's fun. I'm glad it's fun. <laughs> Um, let's see. Let the sliders that mirror each other? Yeah, that's so cool! Alright, well, this time I'll talk over it, though. Um, so... Let's see. I think someone asked, What are your thoughts on the copycat meme? It uses your song and was part of the animation community. I think that's also probably why so many people listen to it. So I, I'm grateful for the animation memes of my songs. Both, both for copycat and, um, karma. <laughs> And Insanity. I feel like, you know, Insanity was kind of an animation meme, right? Kind of. I think I am I really like... You know, taking... The idea of making taking something and making something new with it, you know? So, like, taking my song and making your own visuals with it is really cool. Which is why I'm always excited to see either covers or like anim music videos or whatever animation memes i think it's a lot of fun so yeah i def i approve of this <laughs> did you guys know that a year ago about on copycat's um fifth anniversary i released a chinese version of it with mo Qingxian with lyrics by uh, Daiku. They're, um, they're really good. And it was a lot of fun. Um, 
the YouTube upload of Copycat is kind of an old mix. The version that, um, the Qingxian version, the Chinese version is, and also the this version, the version that um, I sent them, is the remaster, the version that's on my physical edition of 715 that I remastered for that. So it's a bit more dynamic. It's meant to be more balanced. <laughs> I spent a lot of time remastering it. Dang it! That's so tricky! I'm glad that there's something tricky with this beatmap, though. <laughs> I I like I like the challenge, and I mean I'm not the greatest at this game, but I like um I like having something to work towards, and that was better than my first try. I only missed like what one note, <laughs> one miss, one miss is all it takes. <laughs> Kills me how slow your note speed is. Oh, I feel like it's fast. Okay. <laughs> the speed is like 9.6. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, there's still more to talk about. I could probably, so how many people are here? There's like probably like what, four? Huh? <laughs> there's more than four. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, welcome. <laughs> hi. Um, if you didn't come in at the start of the stream, hi, my name is Circus. I'm a vocal producer. Um, I wrote Goodbye and Copycat, which are both in Colorful Stage, and I'm still so honored. Um, I also wrote songs like Circus Monster and uh, Insanity. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome. Well, okay, it's still, I think it's still okay for me to talk about this, but like, it's a long ways coming, but it is in the works. Um, so I noticed a while ago that Bandcamp, the um, website that I release music through a lot of the time, um, they have a merch tab. And I looked at other artists and I looked at other musicians. I wanted to see what they were doing. And they sell physical copies of their albums via the merch tab. And I was like, oh, I've done that before. And um, I was like, hmm. So I contacted my friend, um, Empath P, Aki Glancy. Uh, she helps me with making physical copies of albums. She uh, She's very kind, very nice, uh, knows the process very well. And um, I was like, hey, what if we reprint my first few albums? What if we reprint Lucid? What if we reprint um, Five? What if we reprint 715? Dang it! <laughs> it's always that part. That's fun though. I'm gonna get so good at this someday. Um, so. I told Aki this. I was like, what if we reprinted my first few albums? Physical editions of these albums. And she said, yeah, we could do that. I still have the files. <laughs> so sometime in the future, if you like physical CDs, or you missed out on getting Lucid back in literally 2013, or any of the few anime conventions I went afterwards, um, or 5, or 7.15, if you missed out on the 7.15 Kickstarter, um, 7.15 has Copycat, 5 has Goodbye, then you might be able to buy those, those physical albums in the future. Spectrum Physical, I was thinking about that one too. I was really thinking about that. But I love physical CDs and I realized I haven't released one in a while, you know? So. Th that might be coming along. <laughs> because I was looking at them and I realized, wow, the 
these albums have so certainly a track list. Like Lucid has Insanity. You could get like a CD that is the official CD that has SFA2 Miki Kaito Insanity. Oh, well, hold on. <laughs> I don't want to mess up my combo that early. Um, and it also has Circus Monster. And it also has Aya Senma and a lot of my really early stuff. Um, and then 5 has both Goodbye and Addicted on it. And um, 715's track list is kind of ridiculous. It has Last of Me. It has Copycat. It has um, Breathe. It has Fade. It has Karma. It has um, Deja Vu. It has... Uh, what else? One fourth. It has Mr. Kaito. Miss that people. I saw people say that they were they liked that I didn't make him sound like Kermit the Frog. I'm glad you think so. I like Kaito. He's my favorite male Vocaloid. <laughs> so I'm glad you think I use him well. I like him a lot. <laughs> but yeah, 715's track list is kind of like they're now that it's been so long since their initial release. They're, I view them kind of as time capsules. Which makes me, even though they're my old work, it makes me really excited to share them again. Because it's like, hey, do you want to, like, relive 2016? Or do you want to, like, relive 2012? <laughs> like, you know? So, physical editions of those albums um, I'm working on. I don't know when. And hopefully soon. Okay, wait, I need to focus. I always mess up here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh well. At least that means the stream will keep going. I have more to talk about. Uh. Um, if you guys have any questions about Copycat, feel free to ask me, but I do have one other thing to talk about. Um, which album has 10,000 stars on it? Um, that is, that song's rights are owned by Krypton, so they're the ones who have albums that have it. Um, so it's on the Miku Expo albums. It's on, uh, like, 10,000 stars is on the miku expo 2015 album and i think the miku expo fifth anniversary album as well it might be on a few more um i don't think those are on streaming services but you can get physical editions of them why does copycat have so many key changes uh, you know i don't know i don't remember that decision process <laughs> I remember a lot about Copycat, but I don't remember why I made it have like three key changes. <laughs> I think it added to the um, intensity of like the lyrics, I thought, or like the emotion of the song, you know? I think that was the main reason. I think it was just a vibes thing, but you know? I really don't know. I don't remember that process. <laughs> but, um, if you like the 715, like, style of my music, you know, like Last of Me, um, Copycat, Fade, um, Castaway, Deja Vu, One Fourth, all those, um, I think tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, if all goes well. I will be releasing a song that um, has been in the Circus Vault since 2017. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to be on an album, but it will be free to download because it's with a certain vocal synth that has weird monetization issues. So I'm just chucking it out there. I'm finally just being like, you know what? You can have it. <laughs> All right, and now I need to focus, but keep an eye out for on my channel tomorrow, if you want. If not, that's cool. Oh. Oh. 
come on. Yeah! Finally! Oh! <laughs> ah. ah. mm. Alright, so we won. We full comboed it. Wow, that took so long. Yeah! <laughs> full comboed every difficulty of my own songs! Yeah! Gosh. Okay, so this one, Coffee Cat is definitely quite a bit harder than Goodbye. <laughs> I think it's not super difficult. Uh, I just personally am not good with slide notes, but that was fun. We did it. That felt like a good learning curve. I feel like I was getting better and better with each try. Had some flubs here and there, but I mean, other than those, went pretty well. But yeah, <clears throat> so. <sighs> Now all perfect? No. Oh, mm -mm -mm. No way. No how. Not happening for me. <laughs> um, but I will be ending the stream soon. But I suppose first... I do have a bit more to talk about. And while we do that, do you want to do a co-op show? Do you guys want to just... Do you want to... Do we want to play some songs together? Grab your EN server colorful stage and I'll tell you guys about what I have planned for tomorrow. Um, I'm only gonna probably do one song, maybe two. Um, I'm surprised that the stream's gone so well so far. I feel like my internet is going to dip at any moment, but I figured maybe my internet's already dipping. Oh well. Well, let's give this a shot. <laughs> worst comes to worst if my internet does dip, which it, wow, it looks like it might be. Goodness gracious, maybe I have to end the stream. Uh, but I'm glad to have played Coffee Cat. Um, I'm glad that Coffee gets in the game and that I played, I have played all the difficulties. <laughs> all right, but, oh yeah, there's only like four people here, right? So, uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hold on, let me try again. <laughs> um, I think my Wi-Fi might be dipping, which is okay. It, um, it survived through copycat. I'm pushing my luck here. You can tell that my Wi-Fi is dipping because my my avatar is not moving. <laughs> well, I guess I'll well while I can talk on stream. Um, tomorrow, I'll be releasing an announcement video for um. I'll be releasing an announcement video to talk about my Patreon and my itch.io because I set up a new itch.io because I wanted to. Um, I've been releasing songs on Patreon since 2015, but old rewards were really hard to get and it was this thing i've been planning to get around to for a while and um i really wanted to you know do it sooner rather than later um so i'm going to be doing that but with my itch.io there's going to be two free songs and one of those songs is going to be peace my fukase song so that's going to be getting an mv and that is going to be happening Whoa, you guys are already here, fast. I'm gonna pick up again. <laughs> um, and that's gonna be happening tomorrow, later tomorrow. Um, so, oh wow, that song. I know this song, let's sing. But uh, tomorrow, new song. It won't be on Spotify, it will never be on Spotify. I can't make it. I'm sorry. So if you only listen through streaming services, I'm sorry. You're going to have to download through them. Um, you're going to have to down download the free MP3. <laughs> well, eh. Yeah, I think that's me. Maybe I can't do a co-op from them. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> sorry. Um, I'll give it one more shot, but I really think I think this might be the end of the line. Um, I tend, I do stream colorful stage pretty often. Um, I um, also won't be pirating piece because it's free. It'll be on Uchiha. Um But um, I, 
what, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I stream on my twi Twitch Twitch.tv. I'll type it. Um, I stream on HTTPS Twitch TV slash circus P. I stream there pretty often. Um, and I play Colorful Stage. I did like three farming streams on um, on this event, you know, the wedding event. I just, I did those on my Twitch and I did them for like, let's see, I think I normally stream for like, oh, thanks for the follow. <laughs> if you follow, your name will be on the screen. Um, thanks for the follow. <laughs> um, I stream those fairly often. I post a schedule on my other Twitter, which I could link as well. Maybe I should link that. I do, I do like VTuber stuff. And normally I'm not this frozen, but again, my, my internet, I'm sorry. Um, I'll tweet this, Twitter, but I'll tweet this, no, VT Circus. Um, I think that's, I think that link should work. So if you want to follow this Twitter to see my schedules of when I'm, I'd be streaming Colorful Stage in the future. But yeah, um, so let's see, what else to talk about? So Peace is coming out. Um, tomorrow I'm also streaming on here, actually, on YouTube. Because I stream on Twitch for gaming stuff, like Colorful Stage. But on YouTube, I'll be streaming here again. Thanks for all the follows, by the way. Wow. Um, I'm streaming some synth V tuning. I'll be tuning some vocal synths um, for my upcoming Patreon song. Um, so that's what is scheduled for tomorrow as well. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day. Wow. Uh, <laughs> but let's see. Um, I think I've seen a few of you guys ask about like Sir Crush and Crusher. And I think the long and short of it is that it's like a personal thing. It's just like a falling out between, you know, like a failed friendship, basically. Um, and um, because of this, I haven't talked to Crusher in like six years. So the official release of the Sir Crush songs um, probably won't happen. And it's also not that deep or that big of a deal. <laughs> you know, I feel like because like the songs got so big, people were like, oh, something dramatic happened. And it's like, it just, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> you know, it's just stuff like that. Um, so unfortunately that means like no official release of Sir Crush songs, but it's okay. <laughs> so yeah, friendship sent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's stuff like that. Um, let's see. Can I move around? Let's try one room. Let's try one co-op room. My Wi-Fi might be back. Let's let's try this, okay? Let's see. Let's see. That that generated faster. Twenty four thousand six hundred eighty seven is the room code. <laughs> also, yeah, you can watch Twitch in your browser. That's what I do. Grayonic, I recognize you. Grayonic comes to the Twitch streams. <laughs> Wow, how did this song get picked? Oh my gosh, I never would have guessed. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I stream decently off. I stream fairly often, yeah. And um, if you look at like um, my Twitch or my Twitch VODs or past streaming, or even like I have a VTuber YouTube, I have too many accounts. I'm not gonna link them all, I'm sorry. Because I know it'll be overwhelming and confusing. Um, but you can see that I've been playing Colorful Stage since day one on JP. I, um, I'm ranked 215 on JP. I've already messed up my combo. <laughs> and, um... Oh, wait, I forgot to mention, you probably have noticed this for a while. But my, my, um... Twitch notifications are based on my songs, and the follow notification is copycat. Even the sound, you know, copy that, copycat is really fast, but... Whoops. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this game. I love the beat maps. I like... I'm biased because I like vocal sense, though, duh, but... Wow, I'm not doing good. goodness you see with with goodbye when people pick it in a co-op room and they and i'm there 
sometimes they send stamps that are like, oh, or wow, or, you know, like the stamps that in indicate that they know it's my song. And then I get to be like, hey, I'm going to play in master and I'm going to full combo it because goodbye is easy. I can do that. Um, now, if this situation comes to be with copycat, I'm not going to get a full combo and I'm going to embarrass myself. <laughs> Oh wait, there was a super chat earlier, right? Goodness, I need to check that. I had no idea. I I was like, I'll check that after I finish what I'm talking about. And and then it just went zoom. It just zoomed past. Oh, yeah, Fukase, I see what you guys mean. Oh, wow. Well, thank you um, for the sub. I don't have my Twitch thing open. Hold on. Uh, 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 I'm going to my Twitch. I'm going to my Twitch. This is weird to, to say on um, CRC Mismatch. Wow, thank you for the Prime sub. Oh, and Dar the Star. Thanks for the super chat. Goodness gracious. Such an awesome artist. You're lucky you got... It's such a start at a young age, I could, couldn't even dream of that, I keep being awesome, maybe someday. Oh, it's never too late to start. I know that that's a cheesy thing that some people say, but it's true. There's, you can, you can always start whatever you want, whenever you want. <laughs> but thank you, thank you so much. Let's see, I need to bring up the other, another super, super chat thing. Oh, whew. Whew, we're not over 300 viewers anymore. All right, good. When I checked, it was like over 300, and I was like, goodness gracious. But um, I think I've uh, overstayed my welcome a little bit, <laughs> which is good, because it means I'm less intimidated. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, where's, where, I want to I want to see the other super chat that I missed. Um, let's see. F First Dark Angel, 2001, I think. I think that was the one that I missed earlier. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So with that, I'm done for today for this stream. Uh, I don't want to push my Wi-Fi or my Internet. My Internet has been real finicky. The fact that it's been stable for an hour is quite something. I am surprised. Um, but uh, Thank you guys so much for not just coming to the stream, but also for supporting my music and like listening to my songs and getting, you know, giving me these types of opportunities to have my songs and games and stuff. It's really, it's so surreal. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> it is so surreal. Um, I have plenty of songs to coming up in the future. I'm currently working on a project. I'm working on um, CMYK, um, a project where I'm releasing four EPs in 2022, this year. We've already gone through the first two. I've released Yellow, uh, Bright Pop EP, and Magenta, uh, like more gaudy kind of brash pop, you know? Uh, but upcoming this summer, with the next few songs I'm gonna be releasing are uh, for Cyan, which is sad <laughs> it's gonna be a sad girl summer um and if you liked my songs goodbye and copycat um there's one song coming out um mid-july it's not the next song but the song after the next song it's a song that patrons don't even know and it has quite it it's quite the vent song <laughs> that i wrote it I wrote it a little while ago, so I'm fine. But it's um, it's pretty intense, and I think you would enjoy it if you like Copycat and Goodbye. So um, that one is actually a pretty well kept secret. I don't think anyone really knows about it. <laughs> um, also, Mismatch. 
Oh wow. Well, thanks for the super chat as well as for the for the prime sub. Thank you. Um, but it's um yeah. I'll keep an eye out in July for a song that I think you guys would really enjoy. Um I'm also let's see. So tomorrow I have a song coming out. Tomorrow it is gonna be free. I post I'm also streaming on YouTube. Um and I have a VTuber Twitter account that I will be posting schedules for when I stream more, if you're interested in that. But if not, that's cool too. I'm just grateful to be able to stream and to be able to share my reactions to ridiculous situations like these. And I'm really grateful to Colorful Stage and for asking me to have my songs in the game. And I am grateful for everyone to stop by to see me react to copycat and try and play it and fail out how many times? I didn't fail out, but I didn't full combo like three to four times. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, I'm doing a lot. And there's other people doing a lot, by the way. Um, I think in one hour, the Vocaloid producer Ghost, you know, Ghost and Pals, as well as Vane, um, I think they're releasing a collab song in on Ghost's YouTube channel. I think in about one hour and you guys should go check it out um if you're interested in vocal sense and western vocal sense um but until then um thanks for stopping by thanks for supporting me thanks for listening to goodbye and copycat and um i hope you have good luck with your gacha pulls with your full comboing of copycat with um you're clearing every single difficulty of every single song in Colorful Stage, because you do that, right? You do that, right? <laughs> and uh, the one person I'm the most excited to say goodbye to are all these bots. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> thank you for stopping by. If I had other things to say, uh, they have not crossed my mind. And I... I'm just, I'm, I'm still in shock. I'm so surprised. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to have my songs in colorful stage. <laughs> All right. I think that's it. Yeah. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>